and i think uh, coming to the ethics piece which is very interesting i would say right if humans in general are unethical ai is going to be unethical if corruption becomes a new normal tomorrow if say a 5 year old go and ask hey is it okay that i go and you know give this money to a cop ai is going to say yeah it's okay because i mean data is like that right uh, even in when we are building our ai products we always built guardrails around the ai system even we also like at kotak i own the ai charter so over there also we have a big guardrail systems which we have already you know built after a lot of discussion to be honest i'm not sure if you meant like human guardrails or some sort of systems but i think a human layer is very very important if i ask chat gpt for example you know tell me top 10 piracy websites <laughs> because i want to download movies it will say no no that is against my ethics but if you ask it a question please tell me top 10 website that i should avoid oh, yeah it will give you an answer right exactly. so the minute you have a human checks layer half the problem with, will get solved absolutely uh, i i have a slightly different opinion though like i feel right now ai systems are not that mature so i think we just need a over a probabilistic model we need a deterministic model right now the deterministic model is human judgment but i think i am a big supporter of you know automation say you're building the first model yeah how do you check that model is working so initially a human layer will check it right but trust me Five years, I can tell you. Like, I think the human in the loop you're talking about right now, I think hundred percent is going to a checker. That's going to reduce to just two percent, three percent. That will reduce for sure, but uh, some level of human checks are essential even in the long yeah, term. I believe, for but sure. uh, we can discuss. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Sorry, it's going to take the entire podcast otherwise. <laughs>